Yeah, it's exciting. Um, obviously, Stoke didn't, didn't probably didn't expect it um, at first. Obviously, we got Rich and, and Bears have had a great year, and um, yeah, obviously had a, had a bit of game time this year with the Chiefs. So to get that opportunity is, is great. So um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's exciting being over here in Argentina too, and um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting challenge getting in that ten jersey. Yeah, I think um, probably since my f my first crack a, a few years back now, it's I, my game's probably matured a little bit more than what it has been in the past. Um, probably used to run myself into trouble a bit and put, put, the, put the team under a bit of pressure. So, um, yeah, I've learnt that, um, you know, kicking is a big part of being a, a, a playmaker and um, having that experience this year with, with the Chiefs as well has been great. So, um, game's probably matured a lot more than, than what it has been in the past. Julie, what do you expect on, on Saturday from the outside? Damien and kind of Channel C might run. It's interesting. I, um, just thought out of this week and it's the first time I think we've actually started together but I feel like I'd, we know each other's game very well so it's exciting and uh, we've had a great week this week and yeah just looking forward to what the Argies are going to um, throw at us but uh, it's exciting having um, Damien there. That combo sort of bonded the golf Yeah it certainly <laughs> helps I think. Yeah. What challenge do you expect from Argentina this week Jordan? Argentina are uh, world class side and uh, we shared the spoils with them last year, uh, one game apiece, and yeah, in my opinion, one of the best defensive sides in, in world rugby. And um, you've got to hold the ball for a long period of time, and and they dominate uh, those physical battles. Very good on the ground and the breakdown from one to fifteen, so they make you earn everything you want to get. So uh, it's going to be tough. Thinking back to last year, felt like there was a bit of momentum happening, albeit with a draw <coughs> right at the end of the season. But do you pick that up and? In some ways, yes, and in some ways, no. You try to pick the pick the bones out of um, what we did well last year, and then in some ways, it's a fresh group and a, a, a different start this year. Where we're going to go back to zero and uh, earn the right as such. So um, it's exciting. It's a it's a different group this week with uh, a fresh opportunity. And yeah, we spoke about it this morning. It's we're in uh, Mendoza. A passionate Argentinian city about rugby and 42,000 people, so it's going to be tough. Just lastly, for me, what have you learned about playing 12 in a test match scenario compared to, to Super over the opportunities you've had? Uh, it hurts, um, but it's it's great. It's a it's an awesome challenge. You're always in the game. Um, I just feel like you just got to do the little things well consistently and just continue to show up. Um, Test matches aren't one on big moments, but if you just keep nailing those little areas within the game, you go a long way to winning a test, so that's what I lo like about it. I, I'd like to think so, yeah, and uh, I've got to start at 12 this week for the All Blacks, and I'll, I'll never take that for granted, but uh, yeah, to answer your question, I enjoy playing 12 and want to be there as for, as, uh, for as long as possible. And your partnership with Rico, you've got your brother out the back as well, how exciting is that? It's exciting. Uh, yeah, you got... Damien to my left and Rico and Bodie and a couple of rapid wingers uh, to my right so it, it's exciting and just going to try to do my job so these boys can get a few opportunities. And as we touched on before, you know, a bit of momentum last year but this is the World Cup year and I know we're not talking about that a lot, <coughs> or at least we don't know the All Blacks, but starting the year with a win, how important is that? Yeah, it's massively important and I know it sounds cliche but we're just trying to control this week and getting a win over Argentina and but there's no hiding in the back of everyone's mind it's a massive year uh, I think we've got what five five games before a World Cup but um, there's no bigger game right now than a couple of days time versus Argentina here sold out stadium passionate supporters and it's going to be tough and Damien um, starting at 10 you know considering what you've gone through I guess at this point you know a great year with the Chiefs but for you does this feel like the time Yeah, I'm obviously <coughs> grateful for the first crack, first test of the year, which is which is great, and um, it's obviously been a, a good year so far. And um, being given that opportunity, obviously, you know, we've still got, like I said, Richie Bears, who are playing great rugby. So I wouldn't can say the jersey's mine whatsoever, um, but it is an opportunity. Um, so for me, it's just about just playing my game. Obviously, we've got a game plan, but. You know, you just want to be yourself, be instinctive and, and play the rugby I've tried to play all year. So um, that'll be what I'll try and do on Saturday, just do my job. And um, yeah, like I said, it's an opportunity, so I'll be trying to make the most of that.
think this last one from me, and maybe yours, Josh Ward, uh, he's back in Test Rugby. Um, you know, what he's gone through, 11 months on the sidelines, handful of games since Super Rugby, now he's back in the All Blacks, you know, starting side. I guess just what would you have to say about his road to uh, back in black? Yeah, he's obviously had a bit of a tough road with injuries, and uh, but it just shows the character he is. You know, he's still a young kid, um, but he's athletic. He's big, he's physical, he's filled out, and uh, coaches think highly of him and everyone else in the team does as well, so it's great for him to get an opportunity, and so he didn't, didn't play as much as he would have liked throughout the year, but hey, he's, um, he's a good footballer and he's young, he's, uh, he's energetic, so for him, he's just going out there and, and playing his game, so I'm stoked for him. And have you sorted out who's going to do the goal kicking this week, and what's that process like? Uh, yeah, we have. Um, goal kicking this weekend so yeah I guess we just have a bit of a yak throughout the week and um, you know we've still got some pretty astute goal kickers so uh, yeah I've got the first crack and if I'm going no good then bloke next to me Geordie can uh, take over so yeah that's, that's the story at this stage So was there a shootout at training or did you just rock up and be like I'm in the 10 jersey it's my job this week? I'm trying to earn my stripes back in the squad, to be fair, so I get told where I'm going, but, the, yeah, the boys were happy for me to goal kick, so, um, yeah, it's obviously a, a thing I enjoy doing. So, um, yeah, like I said, first crack, um, hopefully just make the most of that. And Amoni Narawa getting his first cap, how has he been this week and how excited are you for him? Oh, massively exciting for um, Amoni. He's had a, had a great season and, and thoroughly deserves his debut, and um, I guess... With any player playing their first game for the All Blacks, it's about just being themselves, and, and he's a guy who just plays off his instincts. Um, so really excited for him, and excited to see what he can do this weekend for sure. Cool, thanks guys. Thanks, um, John. We'll go to crowd goes wild, and then we'll go to Manuel from ESPN. Hi, hey boys. How's it going? It's Anna here. Um, quick question: Who won golf yesterday? <sighs> yeah. yeah. We were, we were partners and uh, we beat um, Nuggy and uh, Cam Royguard, so we took that out. But Geordie, again, um, individual, had a 75? Four? 74, sorry. So he took it out. Does that help with your combos um, on the field here again? Oh, to be fair, hopefully <laughs> Geordie doesn't have to carry me as much on said day as he did yesterday. So hopefully I can help out a bit more. Um, but yeah, we, we, we partnered well together. Yeah, yeah, nice. And also, obviously, Argentina is known for their amazing steaks. Um, how do you guys take your steak? Like, what kind of cook do you like on it? Medium rare for me, personally. Yep. Yeah, medium rare. We had a big steak. Is one. there anyone on the team who likes a well done steak? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anton Leonard Brown likes very well done. Yeah. Um, he had a big bit of steak last last night actually it looked like cardboard so I'm not sure why he's gone for that. Yeah it's a bit of a crime I reckon. Um, if, if we if we looked at the teams um, as sort of cuts of meat and you guys were maybe a, um, a, a, well, a maybe a, an eye fillet steak what would the Argentinian team be? Um, <clears throat> probably we we ordered some T-bone the other day with bone in, um, and we just thought they'd be sort of plate size, but they come out looking like the size of a small guitar or a big ukulele, so we're probably that. <laughs> yeah, nice boys, thank you. Okay, we'll go to uh, Manuel, you jump in now. Hi, how are you? Uh, nice to meet you. Um, the first question I wanted to ask you is uh, to Jordi. Uh, you were present in the Plumas win last year in Christchurch and the previous one in Australia in 2020. Uh, do you see them as a different team from before they win against the, the All Blacks? Are they, more, are they more dangerous as a rival than before? I think every single year they get better and better uh, and more dangerous. They've showed uh, in the past yeah, three or four years, I've had a number a couple of times and um, we hold Argentinians in the highest respect and we're treating them no differently again this week. They're at home, um, a tough beast uh, to play and like Damien said before, uh, you can't really highlight one area that they're really good at, strong defensively, um, outstanding set piece, physical and then 
got some electric uh, backs and a lot of guys who are playing all over the world that bring back a lot of um, yeah, strategy and some moves that are hard to defend from all over the world, so they're world class. Thank you. And Damien, the question for you is that the last game you played with uh, All Blacks number 10 jersey was uh, with, against Los Pumas in 2021. I wanted to ask you if you remember anything from, from that game and what should your task be in order to win on Saturday? Yeah, I do remember that. It was in Australia. Um, I think, again, against the Argentinian side, they're very physical. Um, great set piece. Defensively, they are outstanding too. So, And obviously, over the, the, the last couple of years, they've got even better. Um, so they're a great side. And I think for us on Saturday, it's just about doing the... Nothing too flash, just doing the simple things really well um, as a team. So just nailing each each moment, um, your role, um, and obviously just boys have uh, had a great season with their super sides. So just being out, going out there and just being instinctive and playing rugby, and uh, we know we're going to have to do that for the for the full 80 minutes against an Argentinian side who are, um, like I said, in front of a passionate Mendoza crowd. So um, it's going to be a great challenge.